All right, gentlemen. We went over the rules of the dressing room. Y'all need to like Camerino. I expect a good clean fight. No rough tactics. These trunks here are a little high. These trunks, tampoco alto, they're a little high also. Punches here are still good. Give me a good clean fight. Obey my commands at all times. Remember, guys, I'm fair, but I'm firm. Touch them up. The stakes couldn't be higher. And a quick word about the tactical face-off. Prince Nassim is a southpaw who usually dispenses with the jab relatively early, squares his shoulders, and throws power punches. Marco Antonio Barrera is a conventional fighter, but by far his biggest weapon is the left hook, especially to the body. Barrera boxing, not just wading in, gets to the body, wobbles Nas with the left hook upstairs. But he allowed Barrera to taste his power just a little bit. Barrera is not looking in. Big left hand by Barrera. He is boxing and picking his spots. It's a very interesting choice of fight plans by Barrera, and he's making it work very effectively in round one. He's landed two big left hooks upstairs and a couple of shots to the body. Naz hasn't done any real damage. <laughs> round one is all Barrera, as Prince Nassim takes several power shots from the Mexican star. Is it solely because Naz's balance is so bad that he looks to be affected by every power punch? Absolutely. Corner may not be able to give advice. He got to work on his arms and out there. Oh. Shades of the Cesar Soto bout in Detroit as Barrera hey, hey, is hey. either pulled oh. down by Hamed oh. or pushes him oh. down. Mark Ratner comes oh. up onto the ring apron coming into the red. Hard left hand by Prince Nassim. The Prince is the aggressor. Right hand and a left by Barrera. Seems power that Barrera is fighting the way he is. And yet. Barrera lands a jab. Prince Nassim grins. Move to the left. Stay away from that left hand. Big left hand by Barrera inside. Stuns Prince Nassim. He hasn't got in one position yet. Ooh. <laughs> what Prince Nassim wants to do. Barrera goes to the body. Every round, Barrera should send him to the corner hurt. And a couple of them were good hard shots. Here you see the difficulty of trying to get to Prince Nassim's body, although Barrera has his gone. <coughs> Big left hand by Prince Nassim. You know, he was right in the pocket that time. It looks more like he's doing more damage to you, rather than saying, there you are. But there it is. You wonder whether the Prince has been thrown off. <laughs> Huge left hand by Barrera there. All right, bring it on, bring it on. Let's go. Depend on your boxing them, you start fighting. That's what Barrera is doing. He's pacing himself. And that's what you want a solid fighter like Bar Barrera doing. Clowning with a clown. Big Don't... right hand to the body again by Barrera. They haven't been able to get square in the middle yet, but he's starting to pick up the power. The Royal knows with some Royal blood. Couple of left jabs onto the Royal chin. Now for the first time, you see the Prince getting closer and closer to the ropes with his back himself. Left hand partially blocked. Whoa. One landed solidly. And a right to the body by Prince Nassim. Barrera came back low. The thing about Prince, when he doesn't have anything else, he's got power. And he lands another left hand upstairs. Barrera suddenly dispensing with the jab. Naz stalking and trying to land that left foot. 
Counter punch, counter punch. He throws a two punch combination, he can get a knockdown. One, two, three, and he's in business. For a change, he hasn't been worried about that early on. You see, the Prince just will not finish up with a shot. One, two, three, and he's in business. Still didn't come back with another. On trickling from the right nostril of Barrera. Very professional. Left hook to the body. Barrera is looking at the floor, trying to distract Barrera. Fat chance. There's one tough cookie. Dog on right. Professional fighters. Harold, how do you have it through nine? Okay, six to three, 87, 84. Marco Antonio Barrera in the last four rounds. He's thrown the left hand, but he hasn't thrown anything with it. He's missed it. That's the way you stop the counter. Throw combinations. He's not a combination punch, puncher, George. He's a one punch at a time slugger who's getting hit too frequently to get it done here. There's a big left hand. Barrera covering up. Barrera's playing possum. He's There's a hard it. right hand by Nassim. And Barrera comes back with two left hand shots of his own. Can you believe the odds on this fight with three and a half to one? I Can you believe 28 out of 30 writers picked him in? Where is the respect for Marco Antonio Barrera? Well, I bet it's there right now. The combinations have been thrown by Barrera. Daniel, do you believe that the Prince needs a knockout to win this fight? Beyond a doubt, I definitely believe he needs a knockout, and I have told him as such. But see, even though, I don't think he's ever been hurt in the fight, but when he gets hit, his head is up so to the point that it looks so bad to the crowd. Oh. And he seems to be very focused and very well trained for Naz. Naz has got to try to land a big knockout punch, even at the risk of possibly being knocked out himself. Thank you. He's taking advantage of Naz's aggression to turn it against him. And Naz will not come back with any shot. Huge Throw right hand by shot. Barrera. And the English crowd is seated and quiet. Organizational style that the Prince has developed since he was a boy. 6, 103, seven rounds to four, Marco Antonio Barrera. Jim, I gotta tell you, he may have lost the 10th round with Barrera, but boy, he had a huge 11th round. So in the last six rounds, Marco's won five of them. And I'll tell you, I, I think the secret is, he stayed away from the Prince's big power, and he landed the better shots. Look at the right hand by Barrera. He wants to close the show with authority. His corner told him to just box, and he's not taking that advice. He's going for it. He's been on the wrong side of at least one decision here in Las Vegas. He doesn't want it to happen again. A reckless Prince Nassim. The Prince is trying to figure out how can he get in. I think Barrera has already shown with his chin one left hand won't do it. That's true. Too much chin. Barrera pounds Nassim into the ring post, risking disqualification. Furious at Naz's antics. Time out. One point. One point. And a point deduction from Barrera. Wayne Ford scores it, 115 to 112. Chuck Jappa has it, 116 to 111. And Patricia Jarman Manning scores it, 115 
to 112, all for the winner by unanimous decision, Marco Antonio Barrera.